Checking on money matters, some people are vandalizing self-driving cars, and healthcare stocks could be jolted. Jen King takes a look at the NASDAQ this morning with these stories and much more in our Money Matters report. Good morning, Jane. Happy Monday to you. Good morning. Happy Monday. Yeah. So we expect healthcare stocks to react to the latest ruling on Obamacare. We Yes, we think so. Healthcare stocks poised for potentially an ugly day of trading today. Investors weighing in on kind of really the uncertainty of what's going on with this. The judge ruled, of course, uh, that Obamacare is unconstitutional. Now, analysts say that hospital stocks are the most at risk, and uh, especially those with a lot of exposure to Medicaid, also Obamacare. Health insurers could also drop, so we'll keep an eye on all of that today. So Sears isn't sure if it's going to survive the holiday season, but it's going right. to pay out millions in executive bonuses. <laughs> hmm. Yes, it, it did receive bankruptcy court approval to pay up to $25 million in bonuses to top executive, even as it closes stores and faces continuing losses. We see this happen uh, with other bankruptcies in the past. Now, Sears wants to pay those bonuses to encourage employees to stay with the company as it attempts to restructure. It's already lost some key executives in recent months as it uh, it's survival is questionable. So some people jumping ship and I was trying to keep them there. So this sounds nuts to me, but it's happening. People are slashing tires, yeah. throwing rocks, even pointing guns at self-driving cars. What in the world is going on? I mean, police in Arizona have recorded 21 incidents of people vandalizing self-driving cars in the past two years. Now, the Arizona Republic reports in some cases, people stood in front of the vehicles to prevent them from driving. They yelled at the cars, chased them, forced them off the road, <laughs> vandalized them. Uh, people appear to be less frustrated by the autonomous vehicle's driving habits and more by their mere presence in their neighborhoods. Arizona is one of the states where they're testing those self driving cars. Really interesting, the reaction. Hey, yeah. Um, internet <laughs> access crossed a milestone. I know. Internet access <laughs> crossed a milestone. Yes. Half of the world is now officially online. The World Economic Forum says the digital transformation can help millions get greater access to information, do business, just to have a lot of their communication, things like that. They're worried, though, because internet adoption is slowing, so that could leave the other half of the world on the wrong side of the digital divide. All right, Jane, thank you so much. I hope you have okay. a good day. Thank you. You too.